and there is uh, there are more variations of TCPs available. For example, uh, in order to control uh, the three transmission, uh, we also have this TCP selective acknowledgement. So, so we have TCP implementation with selective acknowledgement. By the way, uh, let me uh, make it clear. Let's go back to the slide. So when we, you know, when we experience a timeout or when we maybe uh, upon receiving triple duplicate acknowledgement, we enter into a fast retransmit mode. Uh, the mechanism that this TCP uh, Tahoe or TCP Reno or new Reno uh, is following is go back and go back and so here you know uh, it has to go back to uh, and to transmit uh, unnecessarily uh, the correctly transmitted segments or it has to wait for one RTT to in order to retransmit segment. Okay, uh, so there is a solution uh, to avoid this problem. Uh, with this problem with this problem with uh, TCP Tau, TCP Reno, and TCP uh, TCP New Reno. What is the problem? The problem is in all these cases, um, either I will be retransmitted segment after waiting for one RTT or uh, I'll go back uh, and uh, will retransmit all the correctly retransmitted segment means uh, go back. And then we have covered this go back and uh, in the previous lectures. OK, so the solution to this problem is TCP selective acknowledgement. So SX stands for uh, selective acknowledgement. Selective acknowledgement, right? So selective selective acknowledgement. Um, why this is important? Because uh, selective acknowledgement gives uh, gives a sender better idea. Better idea of which, uh, which which packets or segments you call it segments have been have been successfully uh, delivered. Okay. So, um, so in um, TCP selective acknowledgement, TCP does uh, TCP does TCP does selective repeat um, selective uh, repeat instead of go back at. And yes, we are familiar with the, these two mechanisms that we have discussed earlier. So for in order to enable this TCP selective acknowledgement, um, uh, there are two options added in the options field of TCP segment. So, so this the implementation is done using by adding. So we have added two TCP options here. Right, so one option and that too by exploring the options field of TCP segment header. Uh, I hope you remember that there's an option field of the TCP um, segment header that we can make use of for certain uh, implementation. And then one of the uh, implementation is uh, in the case of TCP selective acknowledgement. So uh, first option is uh, we Enable the selective acknowledgement. So selective acknowledgement permitted. So selective acknowledgement is permitted, and the option for doing this is option number four, right? And this uh, selective acknowledgement mechanism can be permitted 
only if we carry it, if it is carried only by sin segment. So you remember whenever we need to establish a connection, we send a sin segment. So if I want to enable or permit this selective acknowledgement rather than go back to when, so I have to use this option number four to permit this uh, selective acknowledgement. And the second option that is added is uh, called uh, SAC option, selective acknowledgement option. That is option five. And, uh, you know, this enables us to, uh, you know, send negative acknowledgement for missing segments so that only uh, the missing segments are retransmitted and we are not unnecessarily retransmitting the correctly transmitted segment. So if I uh, quickly, we can have a look at a TCP segment header. After adding uh, these options, and if you remember, in a TCP segment header, now we have source port. And then we have destination port. And um, if you remember, we have sequence number. And then we have uh, acknowledgement. By the way, this is cumulative acknowledgement. OK. And then we have uh, different fields. We have header length that tells us that TCP header is a variable length and a field is reserved. Then we have six uh, flags here, okay? And one flag is set at the moment, which is the SYN flag, obviously. And then we have this receiver window size, receiver window, which is advertised by the receiver. And then uh, we have checksum. and urgent pointer. OK, and then we have this, you know, options field here where there are different options available, right? And here, the, you know, we are talking about the option five, right? So I'm talking about enabling option five. It's total length. And here is, you know, up to this, uh, you know, this this gives us the us usual, you know, this gives us the usual TCP header. This is the TCP header if I'm not uh, making use of TCP. So, it's from zero to five. so if I'm not uh, having TCP SAC enabled, this is the usual TCP segment header that I'll be dealing with, okay? And if I enable this option five, and I have permitted, uh, uh, I have permitted this selective acknowledgement. Then next, I'll be having four uh, uh, segments, right? So here we have these are the these are the SAC options, selective acknowledgement options, and at max I can have four, uh, you know, segments, and so I'll have the first segment. And then the next, I mean, this this first will give me uh, the left side of the segment, SAC segment, and the next will give me the right side of the SAC seg uh, selective acknowledgement segment, right? And then likewise, I will have uh, four similar SAC acknowledgement. The first, next. Okay, so uh, since the saddle length is 40 bytes, this options field, so I can have this. Um, I can have these uh, four sec segments here, and this first in every sec segment gives me the left side of 
uh, the selective acknowledgement segment and the next will give me the right side of the selective acknowledgement segment right and this by this by doing this um, implemented selective acknowledgement i will be able to retransmit only the uh, lost uh, segments rather than all the segments for example if these are the packets uh, that i have trans transmitted for example one two three four correctly transmitted five has lost six has lost then seven is successfully transmitted eight is successfully transmitted nine has lost or uh, maybe say 10 11 12 13 uh, number segments i have correctly received so this means in this case i'll upon receiving the sac acknowledgement i'll first uh, be sending only segment number five and six and then later on i'll be sending uh, upon receiving uh, the sac for six i'll be sending the segment number uh, nine and ten respectively and i'll not be sending any of these segments that are correctly retransmitted uh, these there, there won't be any unnecessary retransmissions okay and so i mean so what do you think what is the advantage of uh, this sac implementation so the, the question is what do you think tcp sac what are the tcp sac advantages yes you're right um uh, it decouples when and how much to send from which to send right so this is very important that it decouples the congestion control from the loss uh, recovery and we are only retransmitting the lost segments in this case 